honeybees and welcome back to my channel for another speed build. My name's Silver and today I have for you a family beach rental. So uh, if you don't know, I love Zulani, it's my favorite world and I haven't built here in forever so of course we're coming back here. Um, but I tend to not build the traditional Zulani homes. I like more kind of beach rental vibes, like the little kind of condo looking things. That's just my personal preference so I tend to build that. Um, I could do a traditional one. I, I've done a, like a little fisherman's shack and stuff like that, so I guess that's kind of traditional, I guess? I don't know. Um, but I, I just prefer these uh, these kinds of homes. It's a kind of home that I would like to live in. Um, I really desperately want to move to a beach location, and I had a lot of fun doing this one. I haven't built in Sulani in forever. I just said that, but I'm just reiterating that I have not, and I missed it. I love, 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 love Sulani. It's my favorite world, and yeah, I just really like the vibes, and let me tell you, this came together really, really quickly. It was pretty simple to do, easy to do. I was happy with the way it turned out, and we get this kind of like purple siding as well, and I think it's just really cute, but then on the inside we go with like yellow vibes and we get yellow as the accent instead of purple. And I love the mix match of colors. I really, really, really like it. Um, and of course we get the big circle window, which I think works really well with these kinds of homes with like the beachy vibes. Um, I think it came with that uh, Cats and Dogs, which was also kind of a beachy vibe uh, pack. Def I mean, farmy country beachy vibes. I, I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. And as usual, I carry the um, the wood throughout the outside and inside. I think it's a little bit realistic for these kinds of homes because uh, you would have... Oh, there's my cat. Uh, you would have kind of like sand, obviously, and it's easier to come off on wood than it is on carpet. So I never put carpet in these kinds of homes. Um, yeah, sorry if you can hear my cat. He has a little jingly bell on his uh, on his collar and he's shaking. He just woke up because I started talking, so. <laughs> um, I do move this dining table over because I ended up liking it better in uh, on the other side so we can get an island here because the kitchen was just a little bit too small for me. Um, and I, of course, use a lot from Island Living, of course, and we have a lot of plants in here, of course. Speaking of plants, we went to the plant store today, and I'm so excited because we got three new plants, and they're just so pretty, and we're using, instead of, like, soil, we're using the, uh, hydro thingies. They're, like, little balls that you put instead, and it's supposed to help with, uh, with rotting because we have an issue where our plants, it doesn't really seem to matter how little or how much we, uh, we water them, they just tend to rot, and I'm not really sure why. Um, so we're going to try this soil and see if it if it helps, and then we're going to move all of our plants over, because I had to throw away our pineapple, well, my boyfriend did, he threw away our pineapple plant because it couldn't be salvaged, unfortunately. Um, the one plant was healthy, but the other one was so rotten and we couldn't separate the two, so it just didn't, it didn't work, my poor plants. <laughs> I love plants so much, and I was so sad. <laughs> But uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Um, I'm using a lot of the Jungle Adventure. It had the kind of light wood and kind of not rustic feel that I had, but um, yeah, maybe rustic. I don't know. I, I just really, really liked the way it looked here, and the wood color was pretty much exactly what I wanted. Um, and here I'm just switching over the location of where stuff is, and I move it even a little bit further in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I think the Jungle Adventure stuff goes really well with the Island Living. Um, even the plants, I was going to put them outside, too. Oh, I did include everything, including landscaping. It, it is kind of a smaller build, and I think because it's a rental, it's definitely more... It's not... It's not that it's not lived in, because I think, like, this kind of home is definitely where I would go. It's just, like... Oh my goodness, I, could, I just choked. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, but like, I don't really feel like you would want a TV in this kind of house. I mean, come on, who wants to sit inside and go on the TV while having such beautiful views? Like, it's definitely outdoor, indoor living, and you can't really get away with it. Like, I mean, the living room itself is completely out, almost completely outdoors. It's like a covered outdoor place. 
and I really, really love it. I was struggling with the curtains a little bit because the curtains we got with Island Living don't actually match the size of that window, the three tile window, which, you know, is fine, whatever. Normally I do use the Seasons curtains even here because of, you know, the more uh, not Sulani styled, uh, what's, what style is that? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so we have a master bedroom and we have a small bedroom and it came together so easily Like I didn't have any trouble with the floor plan or anything like that And you know most of the furniture was pretty easy to decide where it should go and I was very very happy with it And we get this little conch shell. It's not really a little I guess but we get a conch shell and a plant in here too and uh, And a rug, but yeah, yeah, it's pretty simple. I guess um, the kids room. I went with a purple theme because there's this pur purple pur purple <laughs> swatch on the bed and it matches everything else and I think it's really really cute. I like it a lot and I don't normally like purple but recently I've been having a thing with purple. Um, my boyfriend even got me purple flowers and normally I just don't like purple at all but I really find it pretty recently. It's the same with red. I never liked red and now I'm all about red and I'm not sure that's because of my let's play. I don't think so. But yeah, the, there's the purple um, swatch on the, uh, I want to say that's from Backyard Stuff. Uh, and it's really, really cute and it matches perfectly. So of course I had to have that in there too. And uh, we got some, uh, oh yeah, and the, the Parenthood curtains. It's all the same color. It's so great. I love it. <laughs> and of course I get a fish uh, fishbowl out here because, you know, bring the indoors to outdoors. Wait. Bring the outdoors indoors. I knew what I'm trying to say. You got it. It's fine. <laughs> We're okay. Um, so it's a pretty simple bathroom, I guess. Like, I made it seem a little bit bigger. You know, trick to making things seem bigger, add mirrors. <laughs> and light colors. Dark colors make things seem smaller. And mirrors make things seem bigger as well as the color white just makes it seem bigger. Um, and we have, of course, get the little tiny fuzzy rug and you know, it's yellow, so I like it. <laughs> um, this, I think this is a new shower, or at the very least, I've never seen it, but we use it. Oh, and if you're wondering, those are the debug, uh, pictures. Um, we didn't get any artwork with, uh, Island Living, which is kind of a bummer because, you know, if you're having all these different art style, or, like, furniture styles and house styles and things like that, you kind of need to have decorations to match. <laughs> But they didn't do that, and I guess that's okay, you know, to each their own, but, you know, whatever. Um, and we get an outdoor shower, and I did not, like, you know, try to hide it, hide it in any way. It's just around the side. Because I think, like, when you come into the house, you can wash the sand off of you and the, and the, uh, all the grime and things like that from the ocean, the salt. And it's just good to have a quick, uh, little shower afterwards and so before you trek sand all through the house maybe it's just me i don't know maybe i'm just a little bit ocd about that but that's fine that's okay <laughs> um and we also get an easel out here for you know who wouldn't want to paint that view come on i don't paint or i'm not good at painting and i don't paint often but when i do i'm not good at it and uh even i would paint here <laughs> So we're just getting some floaties back here too. I just wanted to get like um, kind of fun ones and then we're onto the landscaping. Although I was having a little bit of trouble with the color, like for the pathway, you'll see in a little bit I struggle, but I did make this very full landscaping. And I think in the end I added some seating to the side too, like two little lounge chairs and you can get to them as far as I know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy, came together really quickly. I love doing the Solani landscaping. It's so much more fun than Oasis Springs. I, don't get me wrong, I love Oasis Springs, but Solani, it's tropical and it has mermaids. And you know, I'm all about that. <laughs> so, uh, cause mermaids are the best, like seriously. If you don't believe me, too bad, you're wrong. So <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, it's been a while and I look forward to doing more builds here. I've been really in the mood recently, so it's just so lush and I'm pretty sure we're skipping winter this year, which I'm low-key happy about. Um, so for me, I'm like already ready to get into the summer vibes. I've got my summer candles already, guys. <laughs> 
Uh, with that being said, that's it for now, guys. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, let me know in the comments and show your support by tapping the like button and subscribe for more builds. And if you'd like this build in your game, it is up on the gallery under my username, Silver Plumbops. And remember, guys, I try to upload daily. Have a great day. Bye!